I'm going to show you an easy way to paint trees. All right, uh, Wayne White here again. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you um, an easy way to paint trees. You're just beginning in watercolor. Why? Uh, the, the simple way is always the best. So I've got a picture here. I'm going to paint from. This uh, this is this is the scene. If you ever drive up to Mount Diablo, this is the road you take up there. Uh, we live very close to the uh, entrance of uh, uh, Mount Diablo. <clears throat> so I, I picked out, I picked this picture because it's mostly trees. So this is a good example. I'm showing you how to paint trees. So we need, to, I've got a, my little Windsor Newton palette here and um, First, first thing I'm going to do is wet the paper with my one inch flat brush. And this will keep it from uh, wrinkling the front of it. All this. While it's still wet, I want to put my washes on. Now you can see because the trees are taking up too much of the space. So it's going to be a very simple sky. Except some cobalt blue. Putting some glossy anna down there where the sky meets the hills. the green it's going to be a much smaller tree Use what's called a dry brush. You take some of the water off off your brush and kind of do it sideways. Want to want to change brushes and get a get a round brush. Get a, get a speck, speckled edge on the tree, which is what, what we want. And the brush doesn't work that well, you change it. That's what I'm doing. Some more green. This time, I, I bury the green a lot, but this time I'm using a Payne's gray and yellow, lemon yellow. We have to know when you're painting anything especially trees where the sun is. The sun is coming over on my left, going over this way. You're using the side of my brush. I turn it this way and that way and
I'm going to take this tree right off the top of the paper. Of the brush, you see how I'm getting the uh, the leafy part. And get the uh, dark side, the shadow side in. And on this right side of the tree where it's in the shade. The next step <clears throat> will be, I think I'm going to put the shadows in. See where the shadow is going across the road and up the hill. I think I'm going to put that shadow in close. Two more darks here to the underside and left side of the tree. Finish with this. Another little touch. I'm going to take my spray, little spray bottle, to spray that tree there. It's going to add a little bit of texture to it. And spray that tree too. Oh, uh, uh, here's here it's still wet, and I'm I'm uh, I'm 95% finished with this painting. But this is this is an example. I hope it, it uh, teaches you something about painting trees. Uh, the important thing about painting trees is. Uh, when you're, you're, you're painting the leafy part, make sure your brush is quite dry without a lot of water. Uh, dab it out on the towel. So, and just always remember the, the sunny side, where the sun's coming in. Like, I've got the sun coming in over, over, over here on the left side. So I'm, that's going to be the warm side. And this, is going to, and this is going to be the darker, cool side where this, it's in the shadow. Okay, so that's about it. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you watch again. I'll, I'll be doing more. Bye. Uh, bye for now.